through the coronavirus crisis, crews are working to get a medical mask disinfecting system up and running by the end of this week. Now, the system will help better protect health care workers who are preparing now for a surge of cases in Massachusetts. WBZ's Nick Giovanni has more on the difficult decisions they'll soon face. Here in Somerville, what once was a Kmart is now a prime example of the push underway right now to get critical supplies in place, as well as a way to make those supplies last, as we're now nearing what's expected to be the heart of the surge in Massachusetts. And the space that was once in auto centers is in the process of being repurposed into a facility dedicated to decontaminating masks by the thousands each day, scheduled to be up and running by the end of the week. The state also getting plans in place for a number of scenarios that could play out in the coming days, including a worst case scenario. In the event Massachusetts were to reach the point where the number of critically ill COVID 19 patients outweighs the resources available. It's a scary thought um, that a doctor, a nurse, or someone else in the hospital is going to look at you, put a, a score on you, and say, oh, if you were one score higher or lower, we'd give you an ICU bed, but now we can't. We spoke with Dr. Joshua Kornbluth at Tufts Medical Center, who's on the recently formed state committee that just released the crisis standards of care and a triage plan that essentially prioritizes patients based on a score. If a decision needs to be made on who gets a ventilator or who gets an ICU bed. Not just maximize the number of lives saved if we need to enact it, but to maximize the number of life years saved. Guidelines stress no treatment decisions are to be made based on race, gender, or socioeconomic status. Reporting in Somerville, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.